we need to talk about these things. Registry cleaners are pretty much the worst thing you can install on your PC in 2023. Uh, it's something that I guess uh, it never, nobody ever filled in the rest of the population in why registry cleaners are bad. Ever since Windows 10 was really launched, you really should never run one of these unless you have a very specific purpose for doing so. Now, it wasn't always the case. A little history here. I used to fix a lot of computers in the 2000 era for a ton of different people. And registry cleaners were actually used because most programs made a lot of registry entries when you went to install them. This is no longer the case. It's not nearly what it once was. One of my favorite programs was Final Fantasy XI. It makes a ton of registry entries. Uh, somewhere probably in the neighborhood of the 200 to 300 registry entries. And that's just kind of how it was back in the 2000s. But this is literally 20 years later, and these things are still there, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And this, I got a little story about what this system is that we installed these registry cleaners on just to make you laugh and just kind of show how pointless they truly are. But that was the original registry cleaner. Why they came into existence was, was that to clean up some of these entries from programs being installed. It still happens occasionally, like a context menu will still make registry entries. Uh, but back then, like uh, software, uh, an infamous, infamous one was AOL. I remember doing a lot of repairs and I had to run registry cleaning to clean up AOL entries before I could reinstall AOL to get it going. And, and registry cleaners were really important back then for that specific purpose. But in 2023, maybe to clear up a context menu, but more often than not, it's gonna cause you harm and actually do bad things to your system. A good example of this is by simply showing you what this system is and what these cleaners are doing because they're lying to you. This right here is a fresh Windows install. Nothing has been done. Nothing has been installed. I haven't even deep loaded. I haven't done any tweaks. All I've done is booted this thing up and I use it to do tests for whatever I need to do for Windows. But a lot of times I just need a stock direct from Microsoft. This is from this ISO. This is exactly how Microsoft wants it to be. And then I just want to run tests to see, hey, is it being able to replicate on this certain thing? And I installed CC Cleaner and Wise Registry Cleaner on this brand new install with nothing added and nothing taken away and no tweaks done. And I ran the registry cleaners. It found 63 issues with CC Cleaner or C Cleaner. And yeah, it's a fresh install. Now, I, I would say looking through these, like these missing shared DLLs, you might run into problems in the future by removing these entries. Uh, obviously, Microsoft wanted them there, It's but it's framework one and 1.1. So this is more legacy stuff. It's probably not gonna cause any issues. Unused file extensions, not going to cause any issues. And then these little things down here. Now the com issues, ah, yeah, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable cleaning these up on a stock install. That's, that's a little bit silly, but that's CC cleaner. And then we also have wise registry cleaner. One of the other big free names in here, it says there's 139 problems with this stock install. And you can see a lot of the same, couple extra things tossed in there. But the more this thing cleans up, probably the worse off you will be. Because again, this is deviating from exactly away from how it was meant to be. <laughs> so uh, definitely stay away from registry cleaners because let's if you say you remove a COM component or a needed DLL path in your registry, all of a sudden a lot of programs might just not work for you. A lot of games might end up breaking because it needed like .NET 3.5 or something like that. These things really should never be run. There's no good case for it uh, in today's world. I have never run into too much problems with CCleaners registry. If you have to do a registry clean, I would probably say CCleaners the the least uh, invasive one. 
but it's not something I would ever actively recommend on any Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this as a PSA, give you a little history lesson on registry cleaning and uh, shut this guy down and wipe this out because I don't use registry cleaning and I'm not about to install one on my regular machine here. Now, just as a bonus here at the end, let me just show you what my main machine that I've had up for a long time uh, on Windows actually does with the registry clean. Just as a side note on why is it found 3,000 problems. <laughs> and that is just utterly ridiculous. And I could only imagine what would happen if I actually tried to clean the registry. Uh, so having said that, I'm going to revert this to original and get rid of those registry cleans and ready for the next experiment. But that is why you should not use registry cleaning in 2023.